Welcome to Write, Publish, and Market Your Book 1, Lesson 2. In this lesson, we'll go over query letters, publishers as a whole and even agents, and marketing expectations. Assignment Review Did you finish your assignment from the previous lesson? If so, share it with Andrea and the rest of your class. And if you're a viewer not in the classroom, you can always reach out to friends and loved ones or an editor you trust for feedback. Query letter tips. Information over query letters and agents. What is a query letter? A query letter is a letter, not a full-fledged proposal. It should only contain approximately 350 to 600 words, all composed to entice agents or editors to read the accompanying manuscript. Depending on who you submit it to, your query letter might only need the first few pages of your manuscript or your manuscript entirely. Query letter tips. Personalize the address. Make sure everything, especially the agent's name, is spelled correctly. Know something about the agent or editor. Do your homework, find out what they like, and see if you can gear your query letter in that way. Mention if you have queried this person before. Read some good and bad sample queries online or in writer's books and magazines. Have a great book or article title. Have a great first line for your query letter. Use your voice or the voice of the book's subject. Be unique. Have a good lone liner about the book and use it. Use the title, genre, and word count in the first paragraph or one liner about your piece. Summarize your work clearly, hitting on main themes, especially those you know to be of interest to the agent or editor. Do not give too much to the plot or too many character names, or too many details. This isn't Game of Thrones or even Dickens, even if, in the end, the book is. If you do mention characters, mention the really intriguing or unique ones. Mention comparable books. Mention how yours is different. Don't tell them how wonderful your book is. If it's wonderful, they will call you. This is not the time or place for hubris. Give your short bio. Include publicity concepts with which you have had personal experience with. No, I'm going to do this, but instead, I am a regular speaker at this event, place, or club, and I have been featured as a radio guest in the New York City area, as an example. After reading your own query, ask yourself, pretending you are the agent or editor, do I want to know more, or am I a bore? You need a rewrite if it's the latter proofread and make it perfect. Errors and misspellings will put you in the forget it pile. Do your due diligence as a writer. Remember, shorter is better. As I said, this is not the place for war and peace. Wooing the agent. First, win over the assistant. Don't underestimate the basics. Spell check, grammar check, spell the agent's name correctly. Address the letter to the agent using their name not dear sir or madame. Don't say, you're the perfect agent for me. Don't label something requested material if it hasn't been requested. Give a short, vivid description of your work. Give a short bio at the end. Include any publishing credits. Include any works that have appeared online without too much detail. Title of site or publication is enough. Include college degree if you have one. What writer's workshops have you attended? Have you worked with a writer that the agent would know? Have you attended a writer's conference? Do not neglect to tell if one of your publications have been self-published. You can say you have done that, but be clear about it. No fudging. Be respectful, well-written, and to the point. Do not hype your book or tell the agent it is wonderful, funny, or great. This isn't advertising. No weather or dream sequences in queries or in the first chapters of the book. No thinly disguised autobiographies. Do not handwrite. Do not put on stationery. Do not overtape your envelope. Follow the guidelines to a T. Include a SASE if you had submitted writing. If you send email, your writing needs to be copied and pasted into the email, but designate the difference between it and the query. Some agents will not open email attachments due to viruses. And that's it. Keep it simple. Ways to find an agent. 
If you have a copy of Writer's Market 2021, The Most Trusted Guide to Getting Published by Robert Lee Brewer, you can use this to help you research publishers and their agents. Please note, if you can't afford or aren't able to purchase a copy, ask a student or Andrea to borrow theirs. The Writer's Market is a thick chunk of paper designed to give you an extremely useful information for getting published in the traditional method. It has all the information about agents, publishers, etc. Even their email addresses for you to contact and send your query letters. It's good to familiarize yourself with the contents of this piece so you can find what kind of company you should submit to. For example, if you write a lot of spooky stories, then seek out a publisher that is more inclined to publish a horror or gore-like novel. If you write children's books, seek out a publisher that tends to push those kinds of books out. If you have any questions about the contents of Writer's Market, don't hesitate to ask in class. Marketing basics, what you need. A good name or title. A brand. What is it you're selling? Walk your talk. Dress the part. And talk the part. Have a professional email that ties in. Have a one-liner or a motto that describes your services or tempts people to buy the book. Even look at your favorite companies, for example, to get an idea for inspiration. A well-written professional biography. One line for the radio, one paragraph for media, two paragraphs for the back of your book, and a full-page bio for web write-ups and interviews. Business cards. A business card will need your name, title, your company or book name, your email address, your phone number, your Twitter and or Facebook, your website address, if you have one, and possibly a one-liner or your motto that you have come up with. Websites, your own bona fide website, a Facebook site, possibly a Twitter site or a meetup site, other accounts, blogs, Yelp or other review sites, and Amazon. Out-of-the-box add-ons, bumper stickers, car advertising, t-shirts, keychains, merchandise, and etc. And lastly, apps. Apps can be used to broaden your audience or help you showcase your novel's world in a unique way, which we will go over deeper in a future video. Lesson 2 Conclusion Please note that even if you aren't pursuing the traditional publishing route, it is still good to practice and have the proper documents prepared in case you ever decide to pursue such a thing. Your assignment for Lesson 2 is to gather a list of publishers and list their expectations, write a query letter, create a one-liner, a one-paragraph, a two-paragraph, and a full-page bio about yourself. Having these four variants of your bio will prove quite useful down the road. If you don't have access to the Writer's Market 2021 Guide by Robert Lee Brewer, you can always research publishing companies and visit their websites and look up their agents' names and try to reach out to them on Twitter yourself. And now we will click the home button to return to the lesson hub. And that concludes lesson two of the curriculum. Thank you for partaking in the lesson. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And be sure to subscribe for more writing related content. See you in the next video.